when, when, I, when I see open carry, I usually assume it's one of my buddies that I just haven't recognized yet. <laughs> but it was just somebody driving by. I saw you yeah. earlier today. You're driving by on your Segway and open carrying, and I appreciate it. For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Um, by the way, a union leader reporter, uh, Ted, is here uh, to talk to me, and I'm going to record my answers to him as, as we go along. And, but anyway, your, your, what was your question, Ted? I, I asked what prompted this uh, demonstration. Well, if you, uh, you may have seen the YouTube videos. About four months ago, I was, I was here just right inside the door here, and a security guy approached me and told me I have to have permission to record. Uh-huh. Uh, so he didn't just say I had to have permission to record here. He said I had to have permission to record a school board meeting. So I came back four months later. Something's going on. I don't know what exactly. Oh, well. What's happening? Is a bureaucrat coming? Okay, well, I might interview this bureaucrat as he comes by. Hi, Howard. Um, uh, anyway, um, oh yeah, go go ahead if you want, or you can hang out with us. I didn't matter. Um, as you see, it said I couldn't record. So uh, later, I came back, and um, uh, what happened was uh, this was about a week ago. The um, the same security guy was here. He let me get deeper into the building. Didn't interfere with me at first. So I spent about 15 minutes interviewing politicians, basically school board members. No, uh, aldermen. And uh, I guess it was um, about 15 minutes after I'd gotten here, you know, right before a Board of Aldermen meeting, the mayor comes out of his office. And I asked him the same question that I was asking all the aldermen. What do you think about this fact that there's a city security guy down here uh, telling people they have to have permission to record in the hallways? And the mayor said, well, did you get permission to record? <laughs> I said, Am I, am I required to get permission to record? Uh, and he said, yes, you should, you should check the city clerk's office, basically. Now, that's a paraphrase. These are not, a, right. these are not exact quotes of what he said, but you can see it all in the YouTube videos. Okay. If you got the news release, that, that links to the YouTube videos. Okay. So, so that's what sparked the protest and the civil disobedience, because apparently I'm not supposed to be standing here doing what I'm doing, recording inside City Hall. And um, so far, uh, has, has there been any resistance today within your way to go? Not exactly. Not to me, but there was a guy who went in deeper, and there's also three guys that have just gone in deeper. Uh, one of the guys that went in deeper apparently had someone tell him that he couldn't be on the third floor or something like that, and apparently he caught that on camera. But my goal is to, to stake out this position uh, just right inside the door. Right. Yeah. Okay. It would kind of be my preference that we didn't all go in too deep today, but I don't know. So, so these are just people who, they're not with, uh, you're not with the same organization, they're, they're just people who are supporters of what? Uh, Some of them are with the same organizations, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just for the report.com, but uh, I guess uh, the, a guy from Cop Block is here, copblock.org, right. uh, freeconquer.org is here, freekeen.com, people, some of them are here. So it's kind of a hash I mean, it's, uh, David, mishmash. Is, is that the name? That's correct, Dave Ridley. Yeah. Hey, let me, um, I, I gotta run up there and cover this. Okay, sorry. Uh, Thanks so much, Ted. Okay, I appreciate you Thanks. checking with us and caring about the right to record enough to report on it. Take care. Okay, so up on the third floor, uh, one or two or three of our guys are appear to be doing okay. They're not bunching up too much. They've been recording up there. We'll see what they get. Okay, so the more daring folk that went in deeper uh, are coming back down. Looks like they didn't get too much trouble. Got the uh, the King crew. <laughs> you got what? King crew. The whole King crew's up there. Or no, uh, we're all from King. Oh, I see. Okay. Russia, but he's in King right now. We should go to the security office and see if we can find the guy who says don't get. Well, again, try to establish a chain if you do that. Don't all go to the same spot. Keep, keep a chain. Yeah. Maintain a position. Now, I can, I can go in a little deeper, but I'm not going to go in, like, to the third floor. Yeah. 
security on here. Oh, good. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're all on the same frequency if you want to hang out with this. Oh, okay. Thank you. The other guys have radios. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna more or less hold this position even if something okay. happens, but I, I I will move a little further so I can at least see the next person in the line, which would be you. Okay, so they're looking for the security guy, apparently, it didn't bother me. He's handed me a... Yeah, we're trying to look for the uh, security office, we're unable to locate it. The security office is, if you're talking to who you're supposed to ask permission to record, it's the clerk's office. And the clerk's office will be closed now. Have a nice night. Oh, I'm I'm sure he's here. Whether the office is closed or not, they would keep city security here until the end of the meeting. Yeah, he's but, just, uh, he's just hiding from him. He is here today, or was here a little earlier today. She didn't seem to go to the office. All right, so if you guys aren't going in deeper, I I'm uh, going to go ahead and here. head out, call it quits, I guess. Cool. Still a little bit. Right, so, uh, yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, okay, so other than some people trying to tell Lightspeed here that he couldn't be on the on the third floor, I don't think we got too much grief. Hold on, so why, why could yeah, you not be on the that. third floor? Um, well, this lady named Karen, she walked past me on the second. You got her full name, didn't you? Yeah, I, I don't know how I pronounce it. I don't know if you want to look at the pad. <laughs> oh, okay. Burkish? Burkish. I don't know. She walked by me and she asked me, are you a free stare? And I said yes. And then she gave me a high five, which I thought was cool. And then she's like, I'm a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm James. Like, I thought she told me your name. I couldn't really hear her. And then she kept walking up there. And then I saw her up there and I started filming her. I, I asked her, you know, hey, oh, you know, do you think we should be able to film up here? And then she started going on about uh, she's a Democrat and she feels that we make decisions as a community. And then I was like, well, can I come up there and talk to you? And she's like, no. And I was like, well, I can't come up to the third floor. And she's like, no. And then she started saying something about she's going to gang up on us. Uh, the, the Democrats are going to gang up on us. Uh, I, I assume the Free State Project, but I do have a video of it, so they'll be coming out. Oh, they already gang up on everybody else. Why not the Free State Project? <laughs> okay. That's pretty you much it. Do you success today? No. Uh, any questions? Uh, yeah, at, at one point I saw some guy speaking to Yuri, and then you and Pete came over. Uh, what was that about? Oh, he was, his name was uh, Jim, and he was just talking about, he does a, he, did, he was asking us what we're doing here, and I kind of started telling him, and then Pete offered a much better explanation. Basically, you know, we think we should go to film in the public space. And then he was like, oh yeah, they record everything, so why would they even care? Yeah, there's Live a streaming. camera right there. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I think he was referring to they broadcast it on the TV. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's, Mr. Ridley, any final statement? I just, yeah, that's one reason why it's not Im so important to film the meeting. They pretty much already broadcast their meetings. Uh, it's more important to be able to be in the hallway and question the politicians on camera, in my mind. But uh, one other thought, yeah, well, supposedly Gandhi said for civil disobedience to be successful, you have to be attacked. <laughs> and so you have to yeah. trigger a response from the authorities. <laughs> So in that sense, no, this is not. However, uh, it does certainly make it less uh, work on our end um, for them to not attack us. And it was a wise move on the part of MPD. I, I'm guessing that they may have come under a little bit of pressure to do something about me and probably resisted it. But I, I don't really know exactly what happened. So. Right on, Dave. Well, thanks, right. for, uh, thanks for creating the event and making, you know, hopefully you'll be safer here in the future as you continue to question. We'll, we'll see. They'll come for me when I'm alone. <laughs> well, we have a lot of video evidence that shows, hey, if it's okay at this point, how, how did it become yeah. not okay at another point? Well, know? actually, I have a video of a guy here ripping down one of my audio recording signs. I put up a sign that said I was audio recording, and the bureaucrat tore it down and he said cause it was so obvious that I had the right to record here. Nice. <laughs> so. I agree. <laughs> okay, nice. thanks, guys. All right. Let's go do thanks. a litter pickup. So that's still that litter pickup, yeah. Oh, it's all good. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. You like it tonight, Dave? Well, I'm not sure if they like me, but no one tried to hurt me.
when, when, I, when I see open carry, I usually assume it's one of my buddies that I just haven't recognized yet. <laughs> but it was just somebody driving by. I saw you yeah. earlier today. You're driving by on your Segway and open carrying, and I appreciate it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I think everybody should travel. Because we were having a demonstration today, you know, about the First Amendment, but yeah. you're, <laughs> that's your demonstration for the Second Amendment. And Excellent. thank you. Oh, and yeah. you got one of those. <laughs> All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Anyway, so now after the event, uh, our guys are getting together and we're doing a, at least a brief open carry, or not an open carry, but just a, a litter pickup. So that's about all we've seen of uh, MPD today. Random unrelated driving by. But to say you how they actually doing this problem and that problem. Look <laughs> around here somewhere. Anyway, so sorry for the unacceptably dark video, but that's what happens when I bring my trash camera because I'm afraid it might get confiscated. I also had a thought. Uh, you know, you saw all that prepare, preparation we were doing for some possible confrontation. Uh, and maybe that looks like paranoia. But Sun Tzu said, uh, rel I think this is an exact quote, rely not on the likelihood of the enemy not coming, but rather on our readiness to receive him. So you just want to kind of always be as ready as you can. What happens next could be complicated or the real trouble or the real hard part could be next in the sense that we will need to uh, I, I may need to bring you know folks with me every time I try to record one of these meetings it may not be safe you know for me to be in there uh, recording alone I didn't feel safe last time I was in there recording alone so you know if they want to come for you they come for you when you're alone if they can Nope, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM, feds don't want you to hear them.